Guys, recently we've done really, really well with some coins that we've discussed in December, November, October, like Gala, Sandbox, and Decentraland together over here. Solana, is it is it a Solfa that is actually a major opportunity in Illuvium? So guys, today I want to discuss with you none other than another coin that excites me in a huge way, just like these other ones, Illuvium, Sandbox, Gala, and many others. And this is Render, Render to Token, R N D. Are. And today I'm gonna discuss why I'm so excited about this coin as well, just like I'm discussed about the other ones and why I'm strongly considering having a uh, render as well as one of my major bags for the next bull cycle. So join me for this video today. So guys, normally in my videos I like to discuss the price action over a long period of time, tokenomics and uh, on-chain research and analyzing combining all of these together to have the best sense of what's happening with the crypto so that's how we knew that gala was severely undervalued and that's how we knew illuvium was undervalued and sandbox was undervalued and today we're gonna also learn some really really interesting things about render token okay so um first of all guys let's just an analyze what really happened recently so as you guys may have seen recently render has had a major major parabolic move in something like really two, three weeks, you know, just did the three X here in two, three weeks. And a, a few important really things is that we broke many important resistance levels and actually we've had, uh, we've had a higher high than what we've had here just prior to the FTX collapse, okay? So over here, we've had some major spike, but then bam, the FTX collapse took render back down. But now we actually made a higher high and made also higher highs than the uh, the prices, price actions over here when Terra Luna collapsed. So all of that is absolutely super impressive in my opinion for render. So at the moment, yes, we are approximately 3x more uh, than the lows here recently or from the wicks were even like something like 4x. Regardless, I still think we are at this particular price, non-financial advice. I think it's still not a very bad price at the moment for render token, especially if we look for the longer uh, time frames for the next uh, uh, bull cycles. But now, guys, let's get to uh, comparing render token with its past, uh, with its past performance and understand how it can succeed in a huge way in the future as well. So, guys, one of the most important things that I always check in the altcoins that I'm analyzing to buy for the next bull cycle is are they trending up with time okay so what I normally do is that I just uh, do a logarithmic to understand a little bit better what's going on and I just go to the past cycles okay to see are they trending up with time okay because many altcoins are not and I want to focus only on the big winners the altcoins that every single cycle they are at a much higher valuation so big examples of that for example is of course ethereum okay ethereum is an example of a coin like that so every cycle it's tremendously higher okay so this is one cycle bam bear market cycle okay still much higher than before okay similarly bnb you see just like over the macro long term it goes up yes it collapsed here 75 percent but generally every bull cycle it's at much higher valuations than before uh, matic is another example of that so render okay render token at the moment of course it only had one cycle uh but at the moment render token is one okay so in 2020 it was here at like eight even five cents sometimes you know eight ten cents uh and then it went to a dollar and something okay and now we are still like even the very lows of this cycle okay the 30 something cents was still much higher than like eight cents okay so we're still higher at higher valuations for render so that is already like a big plus big thumbs up for me once i saw that i know i can continue in my research because this altcoin is good enough uh, for in, in that metric in going upwards logarithmically as the cycles progress so in that regard render token is awesome now we can continue to on-chain okay guys so on-chain excuse me so on-chain i was really really interesting seeing render token on-chain and i'll soon understand what the heck is going on here right because it's very difficult to understand on uh, you know when we see all of that together but look guys if we will zoom in into everything first of all let's zoom in into like mid 2020 okay uh and i'll explain why is that important okay because like the ico price for render token so the ico price for render token was 25 
cents okay that was like the high at the peak of the bull run of the end of 2017 um, and then as we saw it went down to approximately eight cents and had a new bull run so that was the ico okay and then as we can see on the ethereum blockchain we've had officially the erc20 token starting from february 2019 now what so if we first see now 2019 2020 you will see what was interesting about it back then and if we'll compare the 2022 2023 you'll see why render token is really interesting for me on chain as well and that's another fantastic thing so as you can see guys in 2019 there were very very few transactions here okay but then as you can see as we're kind of getting closer to the end of 2019 and especially to 2020 look like the, the the transactions here are exceptionally higher than before like here sometimes you just barely didn't have a transaction you know what i mean like one transaction in 24 hours it's like nothing you know but in 2020 as you can see you didn't have like one or two or three transactions per day at the very lowest maybe you've had like 15 20 you see but like at the highs it were even in the hundreds of transactions okay that's 2020 so as you can see generally here we were so much higher than here but why was it a fantastic like opportunity at the time because on chain you see on chain we've had much much more transactions going on and much more activity on the render ecosystem but the price because you know it took time for the bull run to pick up the price still remained like you know between eight cents to uh uh, you know 12 15 cents and so on uh and then once the bull run hit finally like the on-chain activity that render had was sort of appreciated more by the market and then we've had this major spike but like the on-chain activity here in 2020 signaled to us that render started to become undervalued and should become at much higher valuations which indeed happened spiking from 11 cents to uh to two dollars and eventually even to just under eight dollars for render so that was 2019 and 2020 now guys if we compare to uh more recent times okay let's start from like actually the beginning of 2021 will include the bull run up until today and uh i hope you already guys already understand from this chart why i'm super super excited but i'll of course still explain more detail okay so here <clears throat> excuse me here we had a big big spike right first in march 2021 makes sense just because like we've had a big big altcoin mania at the time and render just like you know exploded for like literally did like a 25x in something like two three months okay makes sense of course there will be much more transactions but as you can see it was a little bit more short-lived okay now next time next time in november 2021 it already looked a little bit better so that was the other uh, big peak for render token price when we went to like seven to eight dollars okay here it was slightly better in the sense of like you know like the particular day here uh, had more transactions than here but why do i like it here because as you can see it lasted for a bit longer so the larger transactions lasted here from like you know november 8 until um the end of november you know what i mean like until november 28 or so and still in december you see it was still not very bad like 500 900 transactions you know from before that from like 78 uh, 82 and so on here on the other end in march 2021 it collapsed like really quickly you see just look at the chart you know like it it went much higher and then collapsed much quicker so uh, once again so november 2021 on chain to me already looked better than march 2021 and that's like the fundamentals of the render token uh, being transferred and being active uh and then guys the next thing that is really really nice for me to see is that generally the bear, bear market the 2022 you see it was like not exceptionally higher than 2021 but it was still quite higher you see like normally it was still like approximately from 200 to 600 or so during most of 2022 okay during most of the bear market and then here um in the phase of the like the mini bear market that we've had in 2021 but generally guys remember that the general crypto interest even though it was uh, like a mini uh, bear market in uh, the summer of 2021 uh the general uh, uh, interest in crypto was much higher than in 2022 okay so the fact that like the on-chain activity on render in 2022 was a bit higher than here in the middle of 2021 it's so even further impressive because like the general social interest in crypto in 2022 was lower 
than in 2021, but the on-chain activity here in 2022 was higher than in 2021 for render. And lastly, guys, of course, as you can see, we've had this and this. <laughs> and to me, guys, these are like the absolute top um, signals why render is extremely interesting to me personally because as you can see so here in november 2022 look again we reached like four figures of transactions per day again for the first time since november 2021 uh okay but what is the interesting thing guys and, and you can see it also lasted approximately for the same amount of time more or less like november 2021 but in november uh 2021 and in november 2022 the prices were extremely different okay here we were like at seven six dollars and here in november 2022 we just like spiked from like 40 cents to a uh, dollar okay so the prices were like we picked at a dollar instead of seven eight dollars in november 2021 but on chain we've had basically the same activity okay and then of course the very last one is the most recently in january 2023 once we really had this even more expressive excuse me more impressive spike we actually reached like all-time highs for the on-chain activity for render token over here and now guys for the next few months it's gonna be super interesting for me to see where it will finally kind of uh, consolidate okay because now it kind of started to fall down after render token exploded and now you see like the on-chain activity starting to a little bit subside a little bit and then i want to see where does it consolidate where you know what i mean like so here it consolidated at the 300s and so on so i'm waiting to see will it consolidate actually at higher uh, transactions per day than here okay and then here um, but regardless, uh, and, and also, of course, for how long will it continue to be here at the thousands of transactions or will it even stay at the thousands of transactions? So this is something that we're going to see for the next few months. But regardless, guys, this is like the most impressive spike. Uh, this is even more impressive than November 2022 and these other two spikes. But again, guys, the super important thing is that we're at valuations that are extremely lower than still the seven eight dollars which means that like by the next of the, by the next bull run like just reaching the all-time high eight dollars like non-financial advice but like just a no-brainer in my opinion so in my opinion when i'm gonna be like buying much more heavily render token i'm gonna be thinking uh and of course i'll have a stop loss and everything you know like i can't be like 100 certain in the markets ever but I'm gonna be thinking that like the eight dollars is like the minimum mark, okay? So like let's say you're let, let's say I'm gonna buy at the dollar. Uh, hopefully it will get there. I didn't even know if it's gonna get to a dollar again. But uh, let's say I'm gonna be buying at a dollar. I know like it's a high likelihood of an eight x already. So this was like guys the this is the on chain, okay? On chain looks awesome. The logarithmic growth looks awesome. Next one, guys, in line, <clears throat> we're going to be back over here to the uh, schedule, okay? And I want to show you guys a really nice alpha. This is one of the more important, this is, I would say, for the short to midterm, if you want to trade and stuff like that, non-financial advice, this is the, most, the more important part of the video, guys, okay? The next one. So, check this out. This is the supply schedule for... Um, the render token okay this is the tokenomics now the tokenomics of render are pretty good especially if you compare to many other metaverse plays uh because they already have like more than 50 percent of their supply so like there shouldn't be exceptionally a lot of new supply coming in but <clears throat> excuse me there is still supply that is coming in for a uh, render token so uh check the next thing out okay this is really important so uh we've had more and more and more supply and then look Normally, we've, we have a big spike by something that they deem as escrow, okay, uh, in uh, March, uh, sort of end of Q1 of the year, okay, March 2021, and then, guys, March 2022 as well. And why is that super interesting? Because, like, March 2022 was a little bit before the Luna collapse and before the market dumped in a big, big way, and it happened in a bear market. But March 2021 was actually still in the bull run. Okay, and we con the altcoin season at the time continued in a crazy way up until May. Okay, so check 
in the next alpha out guys so so far this is the history of the monthly returns for render token okay and as we've mentioned here in march 2021 we've had uh this big new supply coming in okay over here uh and we still had a bull run it was not a bear market in 2021 but regardless look how much render corrected like April was 42% down, May was 28% down, and June was another 36% down, okay, regardless of the fact that we were in a bull run. And then again, uh, in 2022, we were in a bear market, and it was even more severe, but you see, in, uh, after March was kind of okay, April was 58% uh, down, May 30% down, June 38% down. So again, it's super important that right now, in my opinion, guys, we're in a, a accumulation year right now, similar, similarly to 2019 and 2015 in uh, past years in crypto. So uh, I expect, like, you know, we're not, even though we've had really some impressive moves in altcoins, we're not really in a, you know, it's not a bull, it's not the real bull market that crypto normally has, like with 100 excess everywhere. Um, but um, we already know that even in a bull run, okay even in a bull run render corrected in a huge huge way okay when this extra supply uh came in okay so that's super important part of the tokenomics uh, and we can see here like if we go back to the linear <coughs> uh, let's just focus here you see like it was a really major collapse look at that like we went to you know from 20 something cents to or even less to two and something dollars and look at this correction this is during the bull run right um it was a pretty severe correction from 2.5 dollars to 50 something cents 75 percent down in a bull run again that was absolutely insane so this is something that we have to watch out for uh for the next few months okay so historically right for render token because of the supply uh, schedule um you know april may june had major corrections so of course we don't know uh how render will continue here it's definitely quite overbought uh you know like it has a really some strong resistance here at the two dollars so it will be difficult for me to see uh render uh pierce through two dollars but who knows anything is possible in the markets regardless guys what i expect for render token in the next few uh months is to uh, again maybe it will go even higher but let's just say this these are approximately the highs now i expected to do something like that excuse me this is already may i expected to do something like that okay and have some correction here by june now guys the important thing is that the other thing that we have to watch for is will actually also bitcoin and the nasdaq and ethereum and all the rest of crypto will they actually also correct simultaneously okay because if they do i think render will actually correct stronger than w it would correct like otherwise okay just like in 2021 so in 2022 it corrected even much more than 2021 because we've had a bear market so the same in my opinion non-financial advice will happen uh in the next three four five months okay it just depends what will happen in the general market of nasdaq and of crypto if they are if they are gonna correct from now until april may june uh render will t correct stronger and will create a much more massive opportunity for much more upside in the next bull run even if it, it but if we don't have a correction major correction in bitcoin ethereum and nasdaq by uh, april may june and so on it's still okay because as we've seen uh, at least before render like very likely will have corrections here because of this massive new supply coming in um and um uh, and yeah it still should create a really really nice opportunity but the last thing guys that i also want to say guys when it comes to the next few months and this is the accumulation year okay so this is why what i i personally i started buying back so i sold most of my altcoins in uh, early december i sold the theory for example for 4k uh and i was faked out here in april but uh, uh I, I had a stop loss so i didn't lose uh, fortunately a lot of money and then i started to buy back here uh in june 2022 i didn't know we'll have a lower low but uh you know it did happen so basically i was dca back to the market and again in 2023 uh i expect us to uh still be probably volatile to the upside and downside but uh to have more accumulation so i think render even though it was super duper impressive to me and i think it will really have amazing highs 
I think uh, for the next bull run, and I think they have a good shot being in a good narrative and being among the leaders of a narrative for uh, blockchain utility tokens that are really, really good for the real world uh, utility, like render token. So I think they are in a very good position to be also in a strong narrative as well for the next bull run, if that makes sense. So uh, in my opinion, render tokens are going to be really awesome. So in, in generally, I think the current price is not very bad for the long term, um, for one, two years from now. But uh, I still think there's a very, very decent chance we'll have some really much better entries in April, May, June, July, and so on. So guys, hope you found this video uh, valuable and I was AR7 Crypto once again. If you haven't subscribed already, that's a fantastic opportunity to do so because as, as we've mentioned, we've nailed a few fantastic coins at the depths of December, November, like Illuvium, Gala, Mana, Sandbox, and I also expect this video uh, of render to also be not very bad, and uh, in the future we'll see it also uh, run render token, I think, sky, rock, sky high, skyrocketing in a big way. Um, so yeah, guys, subscribe, join me in this nice journey, I'm here every single Sunday, I would like to continue, do uh, the most value I can in these videos. Hope you found it educational and hope it helped you and hope you do fantastic decisions, uh, non-financial advice decisions that will help you succeed. So guys, have a fantastic week ahead and a fantastic weekend and cheers as always.